Well, the wish I asked for kind of came true. Because everything went well after all. Thailand like two months ago, but I still wake up with the same question every day. Am I actually in the States? Because this is a life I've looked forward to since forever. Do I miss my country? Yes, of course I do, but would I choose to go back? Probably not. We're in Cincinnati, a lovely town far from the crowds. Cincinnati is a town in Ohio. It's overall quite peaceful and I live in a more suburban area so it's all green wherever I go. And that means most of the time the views during car rides are the best. So this is my new home and I live here now. I live in a very quiet neighborhood, but still I'm greeted by strangers very often. I'm even greeted by the wildlife here too. Deers, bunnies, and squirrels, they're everywhere. I feel so blessed to be here. This was never what I expected because the place I'm staying is way lovelier than what I imagined. The house is fully decorated with antiques and crystals, and that really added uniqueness to it. Although I have a double placement, I don't need to share a room with anyone. So, privacy at its finest. Alright, I feel like a house tour is a must, so here we go. Here's the kitchen and the living area. This is where all the family members hang out, and we have dinner here together almost every day. And to add to that, my host mom makes the best dinner. She always comes up with new recipes and they all tasted so good. So leftovers don't feel like leftovers at all. Now may I present to you my favorite area, the basement. Yes, there's the basement like in those western movies, but do y'all want to see the best part of this? I swear, if there's ever a zombie apocalypse, I'd survive, guys. I'd survive down here. I'm not gonna actually take it, it's for the sake of filming. You're good, your house is good. Wait, what if my host mom and dad lock me down here? And nobody ever finds out. I mean, apparently if there's cookies, I wouldn't mind. So, what's school like? My first day of school was wild. I got lost way too many times and I wasn't really used to being in such a rush and chaotic environment. But you gotta pack your bag and be in a hurry to your next class all the time because you don't want to turn up late and all these hallways aren't helping at all. It is just too crowded everywhere. Like why is everybody in a rush all the time? It's not like something bad's gonna happen. Okay, forget that. Something bad did happen, unfortunately. Turpin High School student is under arrest and accused of threatening other students on a school bus. And Mike Shell joins us live downtown where that suspect is now in jail. What have, you, what have you learned, Mike? A senior student at my school was accused of threatening to shoot and kill all the students. This news shocked all of us. 
This occurrence really notified me as well as the other students that the public takes shooting school threats very seriously. Another mass shooting. By devastating violence, the heartbreak. Thankfully, no students were actually harmed, but the man will be banned from the school. But disregarding that shocking event, school on its own is a whole lot of fun. Some classes are required, but some are electives, which means you get to choose whatever you want to study. And that's really something I like about the system here. And lunchtime comes. Lunch was good, but unhealthy. My first lunch here was a breadstick, cheese, and ketchup. It is very American. Other than the classes, it's the people. Most of the people I talk to are so, so nice to me, especially people in theater. And can you guess what I do on the weekends? Life is really great so far. I mean, it's more than I could ever ask for. But to be honest, I was scared things wouldn't work out. I was scared of not knowing what the future holds for me. That maybe I wouldn't make any friends and spend the rest of my year regretting my decision. But I was wrong. Because I did make lots of friends. Good friends. I'm at a place I never want to leave. And I know the life I have here will be a core memory to my future self. The thing is, I'm a big fan of capturing those gorgeous moments. So you're gonna witness the best part of it. received enough of that, good luck, I wish for last time. So this time, best of luck to you.